Alright guys, so we are here at the lighthouse. Uh, it's a lighthouse museum, but it also has a lighthouse in the back. Uh, this is the lighthouse that's supposedly like haunted, but we're gonna check it out, see what happens. A lot of history here. Apparently they've got a few different historic buildings. They have a cafe, which I'm all down for some coffee. And then I just tinkered with this. Apparently this. Touch screen. <laughs> At home with the hardens. Did you get it, It's pretty cool. I feel like there's a trend going on here. Cannons everywhere. But this. This is cool. I want it. <laughs> I really want this. So I bypassed the gift shop. It was about $12 to get in. And this is the first thing I see. this thing is. And just across the way you got the keeper's house. Oh, it's a legit museum. Am I the only one in here? <laughs> Please do not touch. <laughs> By the way, I'm Irish-ish. Or, kiss me, I'm Irish-ish. Oh, I want something like this in my life. I don't think this is original. Or this. These probably are. Just not the lighting and computers. Wait. So if I touch. Oh, I like it. I like it. Scuba Steve. Dr. James Wiley. House close. Ghosts. It is haunted. So I have made it to the second floor of this museum. I've tricked everybody into thinking that I'm a professional. <laughs> when I'm just a vlogger. I'm actually going to try and climb. You can go in through here. And then you can climb all the way up the spiral staircase. And that's going to be my workout for the day. But... There's nobody up there right now. Well, there's one person all the way in the corner right there. But that's my goal. I'm gonna do some photography up there. There's a kid that really wants to go to the lighthouse. <laughs> I feel like when I was a kid, I was pretty much like him. I really want to go to the lighthouse. <laughs> Oh, 
this is the second floor. Looks like it could have possibly been like an office or a work area at one point. I can kind of see somebody standing on the other side of that. I'm like, okay, guys, this is where the treasure is. Oh. Are they restoring that? Are they building it? Ship modelers are building a model of the HMS Victory to add to the lighthouse's collection of model ships. Oh, nice. It's like Assassin's Creed Black Flag. It's a bur uh, brigadier, whatever they call it. <laughs> It's a bottle of my house. The work in progress. That looks insane. It's a behemoth. <laughs> restoration story there. So nine heritage of boat works and then I'll go to the World War II our garage and some pickle local something. I'm just gonna work my way down. So I'm gonna start here, work down, then work back. That one I'm looking forward to because it's Coast Guard barracks. It's gonna be interesting. Sorry about the wind also. I gotta get another cover for the mic. Just to deal with the wind. I think it's gonna be a reoccurring thing. I feel like this is gonna be a multi-part series I'm doing. So this is probably gonna be the second video. Ended it up. Ooh, I know what that is. That's a kayak. <laughs> That's what I want. That's pretty cool. So that area behind me is where that bottle for the lighthouse was, the original St. Augustine lighthouse. Uh, nothing really in there too interesting other than that. The rest were all just different ships. Uh, there's a lot of ship models here. And then ship with a P. <laughs> and then there's uh, old lighthouse models. Uh, not too many of those, but I think the lighthouse is going to be my favorite thing. And we got something going on over here, but I'm not going to partake in that. Alright, I'm going to go up to the lighthouse before it starts raining.
<laughs> I got the wrist strap around my wrist. Or the neck strap around my wrist, I should say. I don't know if I want to go out there. This is my camera. It's pretty windy. <laughs> right? One, two, three. It's like it just takes the camera away or something. Take one more. It's a little wet. One, two, three. <laughs> it is. It's spitting at you. Yeah. This is cool looking though. Hey, here, I'll step out and I'll give you a shot. <laughs> My new friend graciously let me check this all out. Oh boy, a little bit of a tight squeeze with my tripod. Right, yeah, so I am paid, but uh... That's the entire lighting mechanism. Oh yeah. But we do have volunteers. It's rotating too. There's some real like Michigan where you can join the It's pretty cool. Shots. I can actually use uh, my mic now. <laughs> Looks like there's a storm way out there too. There's the rest of the beach. Those are all the waves. I don't even know where I'm looking at anymore. More focus on where I'm stepping. exactly there. I camped further this way. So that's the entire beach that you have access to right there. So it's kind of cool to see it from this way and to actually be able to see it from the top of the lighthouse is even better. Definitely worth the trip because I guarantee my camera did not give it justice because of all the wind and humidity. My lens fogged immediately upon entering the lighthouse I think. It's pretty awesome though. I love it. It's worth the money to come here. Since the lantern 
looking straight up above us. Maybe it's for if there's a lantern in the drip, it won't set the place on fire. Just drip it to a concrete hole. I absolutely love this place. My lens keeps fogging up, so I gotta keep bringing it into the window with the wind, and then coming back. But this is what I was trying to show you guys. Try your hand into the oil. So you can actually see how heavy the, the tote was before. Look at all that. That's not too bad. Okay. Not to haul it up all those stairs. It's pretty good. You know, bad. Alright, so that was worth it. <laughs> I spent I've spent quite a while over here. Spent a couple hours just exploring, enjoying it. So now I'm heading on out. Lighthouse is over here. But it's starting to sprinkle down, so time for shelter. Hey guys. So I heading back home. It's super crazy in the historic area. And I ain't about that mess. So, I'm gonna go ahead and head home. I'm gonna get my free firehouse sub. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna relax. Uh, so, we saw the fort. We saw the distillery. We saw the lighthouse. And we saw Anastasia State Park. A little bit of it. I recorded as much as I could so I could share it and everything. And uh, just to have the memory to look back on. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm definitely coming back so that I can do more stuff. I only did three, no, four different things. It was pretty loud, so I wanted to close the door. But there's some Spanish quarries that I want to go to that have like Coquina. Forgot, forgot the actual name of it now. Uh, but there's quarries over there for Anastasia State Park that I didn't get to go to because it's raining. Rain stopped me from doing a lot of the stuff that I wanted to do. <laughs> as well as all the traffic and everything. Uh, I don't know if it's busier than usual because of the holiday and because, you know, people are celebrating my birthday and all that, but it's busy. <laughs> it's a pain to get anywhere. Um, the reason why I was able to go to uh, those places because I got there so early, the distillery, I maybe took like seven laps before I finally found a parking spot to get into there. And yeah, it was sheer determination. <laughs> and uh, so I did that. Uh, but everywhere that I went, I went early or I had a reservation, which was like the state park. I had a reservation plus state park. You don't really re need to worry about anyways, as long as they have, you know, the ranger there, you can get in, but all the other places it's limited parking and everything. So I spent extra time places just because I knew that, you know, I might not be able to go somewhere else. So I'm going to try and come back again and see all the other places that I missed. So I know that there's a treasure museum from like pirates. There's a torture museum. Uh, I didn't get to see the Catholic church that has like all the old artifacts and whatnot. So I want to see that. So I'll plan it sometime in the future and see what I can do. Uh, well, until then I gotta get me some gas and head home. I'm tired. <laughs> Uh, it took me like an hour to tear down my tent. It only took me like Six minutes to set up my entire campsite So it's because it was like raining on and off It was an adventure for me to start my campfire, but uh Yeah, that wasted some of my time. I did go to an amazing Restaurant you have to have cash. I didn't know this. I had to go to the ATM afterwards. Otherwise I had to wash dishes <laughs> but um Anastasia Kitchen, yeah, Anastasia Kitchen is where I went for my breakfast, and that place was amazing. It's a super small place. Get there early, just like everywhere else here. Get there early so that you can get a seat, but the food is worth it. It's very well priced, and I left there full. So check that place out if you're ever in the area. Anastasia State Park, I am going to go back and I'm going to check out the beach more. I did more photography than videography at the beach just because it was so windy. The wind, 
Oh my gosh, the wind's been killer. I need to get the upgraded uh, mic cover for this uh, road mic. I think the, the brand is like Catskin or something like that. But I'm gonna get that and that should deaden a lot of the noise. The lighthouse, I know that there's gonna be a lot of wind in there and I apologize, but it's just that mic, man. <laughs> it only does so much as far as like defending against the wind. So I'll do as much as I can to help with the wind noise, but other than that, I apologize. And I'm gonna upgrade that for the future videos. <sighs> All right, guys, until next time, peace.